The basking shark, it's the biggest fish we have in our waters. It's the second biggest fish in the world. It turns out that these waters here probably are one of the most important places on the planet for them. And what we're really hoping to confirm is that this is the place they breed. It has never been observed and we believe it happens here in Scottish waters. This particular visit is incredibly exciting because we're here with Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute with a really cool thing called the Ocean Robot Cam that's following our basking sharks, filming their every move for hours on end. In partnership with Sky Ocean Rescue, WWF's working on a project to tag and film basking sharks in the Hebrides. There's a huge amount of marine wildlife that you can see around the coast of the UK, things like whales and dolphins, and it's something we really need to make sure we're protecting. The point of our project is really to build a better understanding of what basking sharks do, where they go, and quite why they come to Scottish waters. And the underlying driver for that has been the proposed implementation of a marine protected area for the species. In one survey in 2012, over 900 basking sharks were seen in one single day in this area. It's important that we protect these species within these areas because they're occurring here in large numbers and so obviously it's a really key part of their life cycle and we want that to continue in years to come. We go south of Tyree and we're just like looking, we're driving, driving, looking at the, the blue, you know, abyss of the ocean looking for a shark and you start to go a little crazy thinking there are no sharks out here and then all of a sudden in the middle of nowhere there's a shark and there's another one, there's another one. Everybody on the vessel with the ocean robot cam is, you know, dependent on us tagging the shark. So we're on there with this kind of pressure on our shoulders thinking, oh my goodness, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. As soon as the beacon has been attached to the shark, we then generally do a little minor celebration and we then radio the other vessel to tell them that the, the shark has been tagged. That tag then communicates to a separate, autonomously operated vehicle. And this autonomous vehicle has cameras all around it so that we can get 360 degree views of the basking sharks. One of the most exciting bits of this whole project is looking at the video data because in it, you just don't know what you're gonna find. It's just the most exciting thing because we've never really seen what the shark sees or where the shark is. It's worth it because you literally can have positive impact on the future of these animals, the health and, and balance of an ecosystem and to know that your kids and your grandkids have a fighting chance of being able to experience these species in the future is really um, you know, why I do this.